I noticed that lots of channels show off the camera gear they are using to make YouTube videos. I thought I could have some fun with that idea and maybe combine it a little with my old uh, photography hobby. This is my old Panasonic L10 DSLR. It doesn't do video, it only has 10 megapixels and it is rather outdated by today's standard. But still it takes uh, decent photos. I actually won some photography contests with this camera, but that was ages ago. Nowadays I'm more into videography and making YouTube videos while playing with my old lathe. This is an even older Olympus 50mm lens from an Olympus OM10 camera. And with this adapter ring it can be mounted on the Panasonic DSLR camera. It makes a good picture, but uh, it's manual focus and that can be rather slow. But with an aperture of f1.8 the lens is actually considered rather fast. It sucks in a whole lot more light than your average standard kit lens. And that's rather important in an old barn that is rather dim lit like a medieval dungeon. This is my YouTube camera, a Panasonic G6. I'm actually using my older Panasonic G3 to film this video. The lens is actually for a DSLR camera and fits directly onto the Panasonic DSLR. Panasonic and uh, Olympus share the same 4 thirds system. But because the Panasonic G6 has no mirror, an adapter, grey ring, is needed to make the uh, lens work correctly. Although it works a bit slow by today's standard and continual autofocus completely sucks. It is also a bit bulky, but the picture is a lot better than a standard kit lens. So today I'm going to indulge myself and play with this old lens a bit and shoot some video and compare it to this modern kit lens. Perhaps it's a waste of time, but who knows, maybe it works great and I will have a hundred thousand subscribers before you know it. By the way, you're free to leave and uh, unsubscribe right now. Heck, in my opinion, you better not subscribe to anything and show the overlord Google exactly what you like. No lens found. And that is because there are no electronic bits inside the old Olympus lens. So let's turn on the option shoot without a lens. Modern cameras just have so much options. It can become rather confusing. Right, that's done. And as you can see the uh, error message is gone. Next I'm going to turn on the uh, peaking option and that will help me with the manual focus. Back into the menu we go. Done. Now when I turn the focus ring, some fringing will be shown on the parts that are in focus. There seems to be some backlash in the uh, focus ring. It's annoying. Now let's try that again on a different subject. Right, that's in uh, focus. Now I can start recording. Enough of this. Let's hack off a piece of scraptonium like I usually do in my videos. Framing and focusing the camera. My camera is rather good at picking up the noise of my clocks. It's kind of annoying. But that piece of scraptonium is not getting itself uh, into the hacksaw.
little bit of reframing and the final focus adjustment and let's get this uh, started I only need two small pieces of stock material to help fix my neighbor's old hay tether machine basically I'm doing what I do best make uh, washers or simple bushings probably what most of us home gamers do on our lathes Here is a shot of the current setup using my old uh, Panasonic G3 camera. The light stand is probably the best thing I ever built to improve the quality of my videos. It's an old flood light stand with two fluorescent lights. Only barely enough, but uh, it will do for now. The Kuhlmann tripod I'm using here, you might have seen already. I showed it last year when I made a quick uh, change adapter plate for it. It wasn't a huge success because it turns out the uh, camera cannot pivot far enough forward on this uh, tripod. These days I'm using this old Felbon tripod that I picked up at a local flea market, made in Japan probably in the 80s. And a whole lot better than this more recent piece of plastic shit also from uh, Felbon, but this one was made in China. Let's get this shit show moving and skip forward a bit. Adding some water as usual. It's been a rather dry spring so far. It's great, makes me forget about all that water we had during the winter. I think I had to scoop three times some water out of the cellar. Here I'm opening up the lens to f1.8 and adjusting the ISO. I'm also playing uh, with the focus a bit more. At f1.8 there's not a whole lot of the picture that will be in focus. Let's move along. After all, I also got that kit lens to try out. I was too late to keep the cutoff from bending over. And now it's the turn for the Olympus zoom kit lens. And it looks like I zoomed in a little bit more than 100 millimeters. But that's not a big deal. Well let's speed this up a little bit and then have a look at the results side by side. On the upper half of the screen we have the new Olympus OM10 micro four thirds kit lens and in the lower half you can see the vintage Olympus OM10 lens. Both were shot at f5.6 using the same ISO and exposure settings. No color corrections were done to either of the shots. I wouldn't know how anyway. My editing software just doesn't have any of these uh, fancy options. I think the old lens might be a little bit softer, but I was surprised by the good contrast. I was kinda expecting a washed out result. There is definitely some potential here. I think I will have to use the old lens to make a real rolling metal video at some point. Maybe I will combine it with that cheap uh, shotgun microphone I got on order. That could be interesting, or at least it will be interesting for me. Let's make some chips and finish making those washers. It wouldn't be a real rolling metal video without at least some chips. These shots were all done with the old OM lens, set to f2.8 and with an ISO of 400. And I intentionally did not bother to drag the light stand to the old lathe. Looks like I need to reposition the camera. Thank you. 
at f2.8 there is not enough depth of focus or at least not enough for what I like and I am the director so I get to decide I guess the fluorescent lights might be too close to the lens because it looks a bit washed out it might get better at uh, f4 or 5.6 but I think a lens hood will also help you're still here? right because I got one more lens to test while making that second washer then I'm going to help my neighbor he must be wondering why I'm taking so long this is a 24mm f2.8 Tokina aftermarket lens that fits the same classic OM camera unfortunately it seems to have a problem with the f-stop control as I'm not able to stop it down so I can only shoot it wide open so the following shots were all done at uh, f2.8 at an ISO of 640 the corrected focal length of this adapted lens is 48 mm and that is close to the maximum of 54 mm of my digital SLR lens that I use most of the time so as an adapted lens this one is much more useful to me Unfortunately, the performance of this lens is not as good as the classic OM50 lens. It looks rather washed out and there is less contrast. But on the other hand, the lens is rather close to the fluorescent lighting. And again, I believe this lens would also have benefited from a lens hood. Well, that's enough fun for now. I guess you won't see this lens again, but I might try out that uh, OM50 again, if I can find a fitting lens hood. So thanks for trying some old lenses with me, I hope you liked it. If not, uh, just leave me a dislike, no harm in that. <laughs>